Hello everybody, and welcome to Stuck Tractor Simulator, apparently. Uh, okay, he's going again. I was a little worried. So, we got a new toy. Uh, we're also broke. Uh, we're negative five grand. But, uh, I, th I think we needed this. We needed a, a dribble bar, or a syringe bar, as some of them call. Um, because, again, we're doing this without fertilizers. Uh, we're doing this all natural. So, got the big fella. Well, not the big one. This is a 12 meter uh, with all the fixins, and it is a pretty nice little unit. So we're just going to go ahead and get everything um, unfolded. Okay, I still don't know all the controls. We done some modification also to our Massey, so I wanted the Massey to be able to do this. So we upped its horse to 130. Pulling this fancy road traveling bumper in case, you know, I bump anything. I need to turn on traffic at some point, too. But, uh, I figured, you know, this is, uh, this is something that would be good to, be good to do. So, the purpose of this is, I think they call this side dressing, right? Um, no, side dressing is if you, uh, is this not one? There we go. So, side dressing uh, works a little bit differently. Oh, no, 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 no. Is this actually going? Why is my circle weird? Uh, hello? <laughs> That's so odd. Uh, I don't think that this is working. Let's take a look. Let's just go. Don't need that, and I don't need that. Okay, it is. It's just not showing up. Is it? I can't tell. It is, but it isn't. Oh no, this is going to be very hard. So, I thought as an experiment we would uh, try this. So, first stage of uh, a crop, you would go and apply. Again, you can either do an injection method, which would be cutting the ground and losing some yield. So, you're your hectare bushels per acre actually increases but not as much so they do this on corn right the the way you do it on corn is in like v is it v2 through v4 which is like four leaves up right you can take a drag hose uh over top the crop and uh apply slurry slurry that away uh by injecting it so you're cutting open the ground in between the rows uh, it takes GPS and a lot of skill and a lot of hoping. What is up with this bubble? That's very annoying. And it didn't start until now. Uh, that's, like, odd. I haven't messed with any settings in, like, so long. So, that's basically what we're doing, except for we're just kind of lay laying it on top of the ground, which is not the best. You, you want your, your slurry to be in the ground, but... Uh, that's why I've got the rate turned down. So I'm actually going to turn down the rate some more because this is still really high for what for like uh for what we're doing, right? So you would turn your rate down uh so you don't drown the plant and uh you would you would do it this way, right? So we're not oversaturating the ground because you would do this and the ground would still be like wet from your your normal uh, like your normal rain deposits and everything. And that goes back into what we were saying about, uh, you know, the, the ground either holding water or the, the ground, uh, you know, not. So it's, uh, you know, losing water. So, again, this ties into that. We're, we're adding in biomass back into the ground that's been gone for who knows how long. And, uh, you know, we're making the best of it. The best of what we can with what we've got. So, you know, some of the stuff is pretty interesting. Uh, I know I talk a lot of poo for a guy that doesn't like farm. I just kind of work in the industry, right? So I, I think it's I think it's really interesting though. Like honestly got truth. I do believe that uh it's a an interesting aspect of uh of what you can actually do and uh how you're gonna recycle things as you go along because that, that's the biggest thing and like we want to reduce reuse recycle you know bring back that 
And uh, then in that same shirt, we also want to apologize to Tony the Tiger and uh, that that uh, the the drug lion guy from Dare, because we you know, we we all we all drink, <laughs> we all smoke, we all drink, we we done him dirty. So, but yeah, this is uh, this is something that would actually go on in the stage of growth. Helper eye is blocked. Imagine that the helper having issues in FS19 because. We can't keep it figured out between games. <laughs> so we'll go help him out here in a minute. I can't see anything. Um, GPS mod would probably have been very, very good now. That way I could have uh, plotted in our width and everything. Like, I'm way off. I feel that I'm, like, way, way off. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty far. Oh, well. We'll get that guy here in just a minute. So we're, you know, we're just kind of trucking along. Um, we are still using the, the, uh, the buy slurry mod, which has not been too cost advantage for us. Um, you know, it's costing us money. The, the amount is less than fertilizer, but it's still a cost. So getting set up into, um, getting set, uh, with our own stuff is the, the definite end goal. And I hope to hit that soon to where the cows support uh, enough that we're you know, like good to go all the time. Okay, where am I at? Right here. Oh wow, we've done like a lot. This is actually going really, really fast. So that's pretty good. It's a good time. And we're, we're missing like half of this, but it's gonna be okay. Like, if you're doing it the old way, especially on like a cereal, you can drive on most cereals without damaging it too much. So, especially in like this, you know, phase of growth, it'd be like driving on grass. But, uh, you know, like your job's not going to be super duper accurate. Um, especially like you're in the fields, like, uh, if you were doing this with drag, it's, it's a little different. But I think that we're making, am I going to make this run? Oh my gosh. That was like perfect. Okay, you get this guy. Let's get him a situation here figured out, because I'm not going to fight you all day. So, besides that, you know, we got some other things figured out. I found my Fent. So, um, I, I remember talking about, you know, the square body fence and how much I, I really like them. So, we, we found a mod for one, thank God. And that means I can have my big square body vent, which, you know, is pretty cool, pretty exciting. Um, I've always liked that tractor. I don't know why. Ever since I first started the game uh, in 17, it's the tractor I've gravitated toward the most. Uh, besides, like, the, the Big Bud or uh, what was my other favorite one? I had uh, the little Fiat, the 190, 11090, something like that. That was such a good tractor. Like, I really enjoyed that one, too. Uh, I mean, there's been some good ones. The European Specs 7R in 17 was really good. Um, big Bud with the duels. The, not the not the big, big one, but, like, the 450 Big Bud. With duels was really good, but you had to have, like, a script for that to work. Um, What else was good? The Fent... I never did like any of the tracked ones. They were not that that good. I didn't think they were that good. They turned funny. Like they don't turn like they do in real life and I think that's a big let off. Um, like they turn way too fast I guess would be how I would describe it. So um, yeah that is I'm back all the way up the field here. That would be some turn around. So yeah, we'll we'll be getting it for sure. That's probably going to be one of our bigger tractors. I think it's a medium frame tractor too. If it's a large frame, great. I know I know the size. I know what it can do. Uh, 240 horse, I think, is what it maxes out at, and that is plenty for around here because we are going to want to start getting into some some other fields and everything um, as soon as money allows. We just need to get past the uh past the initial break-in right so we're having 
growing pains. We've got, you know, a few head of cattle. We've got some sheep. Um, they're just not being very productive right now, and that's something that we need to overcome. And I think we will. I think we can. I'm taking this at a lot different approach than what I normally did. Um, mainly because I know I'm going to stick with it for a while. And, uh, you know, so sometimes it, if you do like a slow wind up, we can get like a lot of better stuff. So I know that, you know, we're doing a lot older equipment with like some new stuff mixed in here and there. I'm going to try not to get rid of the Fent or the John Deere. I think they're both really good sized and they kind of fit in, you know, here. So I think that those are fine. The, the Kloss, uh, Kloss Harvester is also another okay piece of machinery. I mean, there are some. Uh, I, I really like our Massey, and the Massey kind of it fits in pretty good. I'm happy with the Massey. Uh, what else is... So, you know, we got like all the slurry working equipment. And I'm okay with that because, you know, of what we're trying to do. So I think we're going pretty good. We're doing better than what I would normally do. Let's just say that. Because my normal... Like, my normal playthroughs are pretty garbage. So I think that... I think that we're going to do fine. Um, it's just going to take like a long time to get going. I think that's going to be the hardest part to overcome is uh, getting getting everything. What object are you blocked by? Oh, okay, you're weird. All right. So, how bad am I missing? Oof, ta. Miss a lot. Oh well, it'll be fine. So, um, we could actually set this guy up, but I want to go and dress our uh, our other field here. I'm, I'm going to come back and do this off screen, but I want to do a little bit of grass injection too, or you know, lay some on top of the grass. Kind of wish we could grow off alpha. That'd be that'd be very nice. Um, what I'm going to try to do is actually use our store here of what we've got. So we we did pass another day. Um and, and I haven't checked on anything, actually. To, now would be a good idea. Oh yeah, we're fine. We're gold. Um we're at twenty eight, we get another one in eight hours, so that's good. We have six thousand liters of slurry. Not enough to do a whole field, but uh Enough to get a little bit done. Hmm. They've got another full bell. It appears. So, hopefully... Wait, this guy stopped again. Dude, what's up? I don't... I don't know. The workers seem really stupid in 19. I made mention of it before. You know, that they're not the brightest bunch of people but uh, I don't know like on the 17 we used to be able to like set them up and get them going and not have to worry about them and I actually made a video about it about how to get workers to actually work and we could do it in whatever field and um, now they're just kind of I don't know they're they're an oddity I think it tries to go the whole way. Yeah, it's trying to go the whole way. Don't know why. It's going to do the same thing here again. That's so odd. It didn't do it last time. Okay. So let's try. And you know what? For once, I'm going to say I like the turning axles. That's pretty good. So these kind, let's see, it never fails. <laughs> these kind of uh, slurry stores are, oh, really? We're going to be that kind of day, huh? You just, there we go. Um, so these above ground ones uh, are becoming more and more popular. This is not like even a remotely, uh, 
close kind of size comparison, right? Oh, I had it there. Why didn't it work before? Here we go. We're filling. Why are you not filling? Uh. R? Is it empty? Or is this for another animal type? No, we have. Um. Let me try to back up. Okay, that's weird. Don't know about that. Um, we should have been able to do something with that. I wonder if the triggers are backwards. Maybe this is a milk trigger. Wouldn't it be kind of funny? So this back here should be the milk trigger. Yeah, okay, so they have them backwards. This, I would consider to be the milk trigger. Um, but they're, you've got slurry here. That's really awkward. That's like the first time we filled here, too. That's really weird. Okay, I'm gonna get stuck. Let's not do this. I'll have to back all the way out. Okay, anyway, what I was saying was these big above ground tanks, uh, they are either open or, um, well, they're open, but they'll have like a cover on them uh, throughout the your season. And uh, they have to be agitated, just like everything else. And I don't know. I, I'm just going to assume, and you know what assume means. It, it means make an ass out of you and me, that most of you don't know what, you know, agitation is or what you actually have to do to a pond and, you know, all this stuff, right? So let's, let's just make an assumption. And that could be a horrible idea or a good idea. One of the two. So, um... As your as your stuff settles over the course of the year, you're gonna have like islands get built up, okay? And I'm talking literally here: islands of poo uh, will be formed in that tank because the solids will gravitate to to one another, and uh, they need to be mixed in. So you'll have like a bunch of water. Uh, You'll have like a, I've got it unfolded, thank you. There we go. So you'll have like a bunch of water uh, in in the deal, right? So that's gonna separate, just like that old, um, if you remember doing the, the oil versus water bottle thing, like that little test, right? Uh, in elementary school, I think it's whenever we done it. So you shake up the bottle and, and the oil and the water appears to mix. So uh, it's actually just hanging there. It's in suspension. So the solids are in suspension of the of the the water. Well, that is going to uh, come apart, and then your solids will settle in the well, the water will float. But because you know water floats, and everybody floats down here. So you have to mix that together to get all the the nutrient out. You know, we we want the solids mixed into with our liquids. Uh, to an extent, you know, like hard solids get mixed out, like immediately, they're tossed in, just like it is in game. You know, we've got heavy solids um, that get thrown, and then we've got, uh, you know, like some normal, uh, sorry, like what I'm putting down now, which still has solids per se in it. So, you know, that uh, that gets all mixed together. You do this with either an agitation pump. Uh, which uh, sucks in some, then uh, spits it out like these little cannon things and, uh, you know, churns it up. Uh, there's even like old propeller types and everything, and those are really cool. They're, they're not effective, but they're cool. Uh, you'll have like things in the middle. Well, what we have is a boat, it's like an actual boat. It, it sits on top of poo. That's its job is to stir the shit and uh so yeah you, you put it out and in this case you would lift it up in there with a crane and uh mix it all in so you'd let it run out there for a few hours and it would just you know be chilling just out there just pumping away and uh you can actually set it up to like automatically steer itself because it'll use uh kind of like how a uh, uh a jet ski works right so we're using a water jet 
to propel it around and uh, you can steer it around and it works pretty good so you would do that inside of there and it would get it all mixed up and you'd have the right consistency so you know you can be too thick so you don't want to do like too much you want the stuff off the bottom but you don't want it to be like uh, the consistency of pudding because uh, it doesn't pump very well so you'd have to add in a little bit more water and I don't know where I'm going but yeah so agitation pretty important step uh, wish it was kind of displayed in game some way uh, even as like a prop just kind of up there just buzzing around you know do it like once a day or something have it you know like the game timer goes okay your boat's running out here for an hour and it just goes up there and just, beep, 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 just runs around um, we do the same thing in a uh, see how this guy's stuck again he's overrunning um, because the thing's trying to cultivate at the same time, which I can't fix. Um, but yeah, so it'd be kind of neat to see, uh, that part of it put in there because uh, it's a pretty important step, but the, uh, the pig pot, the pig pumps or the pig, the pig ones are almost always underground, you know? So, uh, you'll never see like, uh, well, I mean, not, you will never see, there is a collection lagoon at some places, but in other places, you know, the finishing bars and everything that might be X amount of way, miles away from something, um, they're built into the into the floor, and uh, you have to agitate those. And we have something called a an agi boom, which goes down inside the hole and it's got two water jets on it. And it gets to start up because pig poo's not. It's different. Let's just say it's different. It's very slimy. Um, out of cow and pig, the the pigs are the worst. Humans are the worst. Um, I, I, we have dealt with it, not as an application process, but as a, a movement and transfer kind of deal for human waste. And I, I won't do it. I refuse to do it. It's it's nasty. It's dirty. Um, humans are the filthiest animals in the world. Prove me wrong. <laughs> like it's bad, bad. So, I'm not a fan. Not a fan at all. I was really hoping to get some of this stuff done today. But, I think I'm going to have to finish the rest of it off camera. Because I've talked my head off. Again, like, I'm, I'm getting good at that. Like, uh, like we're not getting anything done on camera. But I'm having nice little chats. And, you know, sometimes that's, that's okay. We got our cute little massy here. We just kind of... Going around, we're gonna go broke, you know, for a bit. I've got that corn. Uh, I'll probably take the corn in next uh, next time. Let's go ahead and get this guy filled up. Like I do, I do a lot off the camera, and I know I shouldn't, or off of off of game, I guess. I know I'm hitting the right button. Why is this being dumb? Like, I don't see. Come on. I'm not a fan. See, like, the, the outlet should be right there by the pump, I think. Okay, so it's to the side. Whatever. <gasps> it won't let me do it because I'm... Really? Oh, no, I'm broke. Okay. Well, that sucks. So now I gotta find a way to make some money. So, um, that is actually where I'm gonna leave it. So, hopefully, you learned a little bit more about poo today um, and what we do. So, there you go. Uh, sorry it wasn't too entertaining. But, uh, yeah. I'll uh, get some of this stuff fixed up and make some money. Then, uh, then we'll worry about the rest. Hopefully, next episode we'll be in the money making mood. So, everybody, I hope you had a good day. I uh, hope you have a good rest of your evening. And I'll see you in the next video.